welcome to End Notes. Uh, it is my very special pleasure to announce our next guest, one of Erie's favorite musicians, singer, songwriters, and front man of many different bands, Mr. Tyler Smilo. Welcome, Tyler. <laughs> How you doing, man? Pretty good. Excellent. Pretty good. Welcome to the show. I'll get you an autograph after the show. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I've been wanting one of those. I know. <laughs> no. uh, so, Stop yeah, I kind, of, I kind of, uh, <laughs> I know you have a new solo album out. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I have a new solo album out called The Painter. It's 13 tracks. It, um, we recorded it uh, the same place where we did the mix and master on the upcoming Smile on the Ghost record, Ghost Riders. Yes. Something else we can chat about. But uh, So I did it at GCR in Buffalo, New York uh, with Justin Rose. He's the lead engineer up there. Oh, nice. Um, I basically did it like I did the last two records on Blood of the Sound and Dust in the Grave, which were done with mm -hmm. Trevor Houston here locally. Yes, and both um, like best of uh, ear reader Best local albums, yeah. Well, also that, I mean, <laughs> people love those records. Yeah, they're great. And I still have people hit me up about those records all the time. Um, and The Painter, I wanted to, uh, you know, I think as an artist, you want bigger and better. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to do Ghost, where I had, I right. had all the, the madness and Expansive, the Expansive, yeah, yeah. But I also was thinking, like, dude, people, you know, I have a lot of people that are like, I don't want to hear any of that. I just want to hear you and a guitar. Acoustic guitar, yeah. And no click and just right. wailing. And so yeah. I was like... I kind of just threw that on as an add-on. We were doing the Ghostmaster. Right. And I was like, you, can I come up and do a record? I'm kind of due for one. Yeah. And I literally went up like two weeks later, in and out mastered that day. And Be I've been sitting on it since. Yeah, because it's very, it's a, you know, it's a super like intimate recording. There's like, you know, tracks like in the middle of the record that like, you know, you're talking to the engineer. Be like, yeah. oh, you want to do this? Like, yeah, and it's sure. very, it's very like, but it sounds great. It's not like lo-fi at all. Yeah, so what <clears throat> we, we talked a little bit about Smile and the Ghost. First off, can you, Brief us on uh, a short description of what Smile on the Ghost is for the, those that don't know. Well, Smile on the Ghost started <clears throat> initially as we wanted to do like a chamber orchestra mm -hmm. over top of like my poppy folk songs. Right. Um, so initially we had violin, viola, cello, bass. We had so much going on. Right. To where like people were showing up like, almost, I'm playing, right? And almost, I, and, almost unmanageable. Yeah, yeah, so like I had to like, you know, we had to chop it down. The Smiley Philharmonic. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I really wanted. <laughs> I just want an orchestra, yeah. darn it. But um, no, but like Jason Wolver had mm -hmm. a lot to do with that. Yeah, Who, Jason, Jason he, and he, I think he's done stuff with, with Jake's Blues. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he was with Bernard Allison for years, yeah. the blues dude. Uh, he toured the world. I mean, Jason Wolver's the only guy that I know that's played Tibet. You know right, I mean? like he's like I've jammed turkey, you know. Like, uh, but he came along and he showed. He started showing up at yeah, McCoy's open mics in like 2015 oh, yeah. or 16, and he like knew all the songs. And he's like, not only do I know them, but what do you think about these arrangements? Yeah, yeah, I've got new stuff here. Yeah, and like he came up with all these string arrangements, and then literally, like I wasn't even there the one day for Ghost. Jason was like, did all the string. Oh, really? So much. Yeah. A secondary mind in, yeah. in that project that like. It should be called like Smile Wilbur. Nice. And some, you know, everybody's so good. Like Eric Brewer. Oh yeah. He played lap steel, banjo, um, guitar. Mm -hmm. He just he did some flat picking stuff. And then we had Abby Baird, of course, mm -hmm. who's awesome, a uh, local girl. And then uh, Ted uh, Schmelz, uh, who is from uh, the Erie and Buffalo Philharmonic. Oh yeah. We saw him walking down the road with. Uh, he saw him walking out of the racks with a violin. Yeah, yeah. And Wilbur's like, we're gonna ask this guy to be in the band. And like <laughs> Wilbur hops out of the car, runs over, and he's like, he's in. All right. And like two days later, he was like at practice, like just killing it. I was like, how does that happen? You know, of course, uh, Adam McKillop. Yes, who's yeah. a concert Wonder, vocalist. Wonderful Adam McKillop. Adam McKillop is like, if you want a guy to play mandolin and uh -huh. harmony in your band, uh, what better to ask than like a, a concert vocalist who teaches mandolin? Right. Uh, so and also like the nicest person in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, I've been so blessed with all these projects. Yeah. A lot of people have to go to work, like I, you know, or do whatever they're doing, right. and I just have to be playing like all the time. Right, you, yeah, you, you recently, you're, you're kind of in the midst of like a, a decent, decent sized tour, like. So I basically, for the last year and a half or so, it's just like, I'm hitting New York, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Like right. We, we had a strategy. Right. And I've played over 70 some breweries mm -hmm. in three states, doing close to 200 to 212 shows in a year. Yeah, it's crazy. And um, now I was like, okay, let's hit Virginia and Tennessee. It, it and works. It's just that's a, freaking awesome. Yeah. And you find feeling. out why a lot of people don't do this for a living. Right. Because like, you know, I'd be like, Mom, my car broke down, the snowman ate my lunch, and it's, I have no money. Like again, you it's know what I mean? always <laughs> it is always something. Like, yeah. So, it's, so uh, yeah. yeah, it's always something, dude. But it's uh, it's interesting. And when, it, and when it's kind of just you, it's very yeah. you know, it must be very different. Than I can being live like, with shit. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, you can, you, you can make do most of the time. Um, but, you know, when I'm home, I try to, uh, it, it's hard because I have you know, a little, little boy home. Right, and, yeah, Elliot. And I try to, yeah, Elliot's amazing, but I try to, uh, ultimately, uh, my goal is to, you know, give him something right. outside of realm of net or normal or like, right. you know, being able to offer him some sort of life that, that just isn't in the cards otherwise. Right. And not, the music's the only way I know how to get there. And I might not do it right all the time. But I just know that if I keep hitting the hammer yeah. long enough, it will. It will. But you, but you, you are, you are, <laughs> you are going for it. Yeah, you I, are, I, you I'm are. All chips in. Yeah. You're going for it, and that's awesome. So when there's no projected date for the Smile and the Ghost record, is that correct? It's you, actually just this morning we, we were talking. Stay about, tuned for it. Yeah, I, I got them all the stuff they needed um, to wrap that up. Um, it, it's been, it's been sitting on the table for a while. I mean, I've had those. Yeah, um, I remember you I, sending I, those to me like. Last year, almost. <laughs> yeah, the one, and I was like, Whoa. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It sounds freaking great. I'll have the physical disc mm -hmm. in two weeks, and mm -hmm. then from there, it's just planning a release party. Right. Um, Painter, March 2nd. Yeah, speaking of release parties, yeah. Release party. No. <laughs> um, at Scotty's, March 2nd. Um, I'm on a, doing. On a Friday night. Right? Yeah, I'm going to go crazy, man. I, I've, yeah. I want everybody, everybody that's seen me in the last few years, and like I've seen the smile or I've seen my mm -hmm. show, I want them to come back because. Right. I've played so many shows in that interim. Yeah. Because like, you don't play a ton of local shows. Either. No, yeah. I haven't been. How did you start off, you know, making making music? I know, like a... Well, I was a f failed NBA <laughs> basketball star. <laughs> no, uh, you too? <laughs> like, <laughs> we were like the little giants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I started playing like super late in the game. I started playing like I was like 18. Yeah. I took, for some reason, I took music theory all through high school on paper, but I didn't play mm -hmm. any instrument. I just interested. And where did you grow up again? Kashocked in Ohio. Yeah. I knew that I wanted to be like a loudmouth with a guitar, <laughs> you know, like just like rambling. Yeah. Rambling. <laughs> Telling was, your story. I love the whole yeah. thing from the get-go. Yeah. The whole like um, vagabond or uh, troubadour, troubadour yeah. thing. I don't know, man. It's well, a journey, bro. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. And I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, I want to <laughs> encourage everyone to, you can uh, listen to the painter on Bandcamp. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, MP3s then, went live February 13th, my yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Related birthday. Woo. No. <laughs> but um, now, uh, yeah, the, um, I've ordered discs. People, yes. I sold 50 copies. Um, they were already sold. Uh, like special, like... Yeah, first edition, edition yeah, last yeah. edition. They're going to be sent out soon. And then March 2nd, everybody... I'm pretty sure I'm leaning towards everybody may get a... A copy for sure. Right. We'll Not see. written in stone. We'll see. We'll see. Go to the show yeah. and find Come out. Come to the show. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Tyler. And uh, everyone, uh, stay tuned. Click around. And uh, we're going to hear a song from Tyler up next. And thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude. Absolutely. Always. Thanks.